The morning sun spilled its warmth across Night City as I boarded the bus, dressed in a suit that seemed to grow more tired with each passing day. The hum of the bus's engines provided a backdrop to the city awakening outside, its vibrant hues painting a facade of vitality. Yet, within the confines of this crowded transport, my thoughts echoed with a distinct sense of contemplation. <sighs> I thought a sunny day might change something, I murmured to myself, my gaze wandering across the faces of my fellow passengers. Each person, lost in their own world, served as a reminder of the shared solitude within this bustling city. As the bus trundled through the streets, I couldn't escape the rhythm of my own existence, the relentless beat of a life that seemed to blur into a series of indistinguishable days. The warmth of the sunlight streaming through the windows created a stark contrast to the shadows of my internal monologue. I used to believe that success would bring happiness, I admitted to myself, my gaze fixed on the passing cityscape. But now, success feels like a distant concept, overshadowed by the weight of expectations and the compromises made in the name of survival. My attention drifted to a young woman engrossed in a book, her absorption a stark juxtaposition to the turbulence within my own mind. The pages seemed to hold a sanctuary, a refuge from the demands of reality. Is there a world within those pages where dreams still thrive? I wondered, a fleeting envy coloring my thoughts. A world where the pursuit of passion isn't drowned out by the deafening noise of conformity and routine? attention shifted to a group of nomads huddled around a makeshift fire beneath a freeway overpass. Their worn faces bore the scars of a life lived on the fringes of society. I wondered if their sense of purpose was more authentic than the structured routines of corporate life. Did they find meaning in the struggle for survival, unburdened by the expectations of success that had become my relentless companion? The city outside continued to unfold, revealing scenes of people enjoying leisurely breakfasts and animated conversations. Their laughter resonated within the bus, creating a discordant harmony with the contemplative symphony in my mind. Do they grapple with the same questions? I pondered, feeling a sense of detachment from the seemingly carefree lives around me. Or am I the solitary wanderer in this urban landscape, haunted by the persistent echoes of unfulfilled aspirations? Lost in my thoughts, I noticed the bus making its way through familiar neighborhoods. Buildings towered over us, their reflective surfaces mirroring the complexity of the lives contained within. The city had its own rhythm, a pulsating heartbeat that both fueled and drained those navigating its intricate pathways. As the bus neared its final destination, the skyline of megatowers loomed on the horizon. The corporate spires stood as testaments to the pursuit of power and wealth, casting long shadows that stretched across the city. It was a reminder of the choices made in the pursuit of success, choices that often left the soul yearning for something more profound. stop arrived, the city's hustle and bustle now engulfing me fully. 
I walked through the crowded streets, the echoes of my internal musings fading into the urban symphony. It was then that I noticed a street musician playing a haunting melody on a synth, creating an atmosphere of melancholy amidst the dazzling lights. Ah. to listen, feeling a connection to the raw emotion conveyed through the music. In that moment, the boundaries between success and fulfillment blurred, and I realized that happiness might not reside in the grandeur of achievements, but in the authenticity of one's journey. The city, with all its contradictions, became a canvas where dreams and realities collided. As the synth notes faded into the background, I embraced the uncertainty of my path ready to redefine success on my own terms in the relentless embrace of Night City.